Hey guys, what's up? This is the Bull here. Good morning. I want to talk about a couple of mistakes that I made this growing season. One of them is I was kind of slow on getting out with my sprays to spray my plants. The other one is I wasn't checking the leaves on my plants. As I was walking around, I'm just like growing food and harvesting food and I wasn't paying too much attention to the bugs. And knowing that um, I've been planting for so many years that I should have known better, but you get busy, busy doing stuff and harvesting and you don't pay attention to that, it's gonna, it's gonna bite you and it bit me. Now, also, I, one other thing I wanna do is I, I don't wanna plant uh, like my squash plants, I want to keep them separate. I want to keep my cucumbers in their own separate area. I don't want to have them too close to each other because the bugs seem to migrate from plant to plant. So um, I, want, I want to make sure I, I, I don't make that same mistake uh, this following season. Now, it's not too late now. I'm going to get out here, and I have started, you know, clipping away a lot of the uh, leaves. they got bugs on them. Um, checking the plants very well now. They, 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 they took a big hit, but, you know, it's, it's never too late, you know, until it's too late. So I'm going to get out here, and I'm going to um, take care of these uh, bugs once and for all, well, I'm gonna, <laughs> you know, you ain't never going to get rid of the bugs altogether, but <clears throat> I'm going to, um, you know, uh, try to stay on top of that a little bit more than I have. So anyway, let me turn, turn this around, show you what I'm talking about here. All right. As you can see over here, my, um, my leaves just getting up eating all up eating all up because I didn't get out here and check my leaves every morning like I'm supposed to like I'm supposed to get out here every morning check these leaves and um, go underneath them because usually underneath them that's where they'll lay their eggs and um, the eggs will hatch and then the the uh, the bugs will just start eating away at your plant. Now, as you can see here, I have some pumpkins growing here. These are the sugar baby pumpkins. Some down there. New one right there coming along. I don't even need to uh, pollinate none of these um, uh, fruit because the bees are doing the job. I have plenty of bees coming around here and pollinating the, um, the plants. But yeah, definitely got to get out here and check these leaves and go underneath them and check for the bugs because you're going to have, let me see if I can find one here. Um, they're around. I mean, they're just tearing up these leaves here. And these guys here, let me see. Oh, hit right here. You got one right here. This is right here. See right there? That's the squash. Let me see if I can get them off here. Right, right there. All right. See, you got the little spines on the top. They're called the squash lady beetle lava. That's what this is right here. See what the little spines there on top? These are the worst I'm talking about. They are the worst. They will lay those eggs and spread out real good. And they will, I mean, you can see the damage, the damage that they put on the leaves. You know, all those leaves right there. And, um, I cut out. See, cause they're here, look, I'm sitting right on there. I cut them out. Um, just to get them off the plant because it's like eggs and all kinds of stuff growing, growing on there. So right there, like there, if you look real closely, like little baby ones and stuff. But I'm gonna get out here with some spray 
Um, this is kind of kind of heavy right now, the, the damage. So I'm gonna get out here. Normally I would get out with some soap, just some Dawn soap. And um, just spray them all over underneath everywhere. But uh, damage is kind of heavy now, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit it up with some BT. And they're all over. So, and I, you know, and over here I got my cucumbers, right? The cucumbers are over here, and um, I have a lot of cucumbers growing on here now. And there's a lot of, like, this here. Little young ones coming along. So many of the plant is doing fantastic all over this cucumbers throughout the whole plant. But um, I let these bugs uh, just run rampant on my plant. And um, so I had to cut away, I cut away a lot of these. This was really looking really, really, really bad. And, um, and it just, you, you'd think, right, that um, you see a couple little bugs and you, you, you're you a little slow on taking care of it. And then overnight, overnight, you'll come out the next day or so and you'll see your leaves, I mean, just, just tore up because there's so many bugs. Um, they lay so many eggs. But um, I was able to, you know, started harvesting. I just started really harvesting these, these other bigger cucumbers. And you want to make sure, like this one right here was hiding back there to see it. So he got a little bit bigger than I really would want. I normally like to like take them about like right there. Because if you let them get too big, your plant will start focusing on going to seed instead of instead of focusing on, on just continuing to do some cucumbers. So get your cucumbers, pick your cucumbers regularly and uh, so your plant can continue producing, producing fruit for you, just like any other, any of any other plant, in particular the, the cucumbers. Now some of these tomatoes over here on this one right here, they all just started getting red, really nice. These are nice little little tomatoes there. I snack on them. The, the chicken snack on them. Very nice. So, but anyway, getting back over here, right? So here's 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 my uh, pumpkin plant, and there's my cucumber plant over there, right? Then over here, on the on the trellis here, I same trellis with the pumpkins. I have the cantaloupes growing, right? And you can see little little cantaloupes starting to set all over this plant here. And the mistake is, I'm not going to be planting these plants next to each other like that next year because um, it's just you're dealing with. If the the if you want to just deal with taking care of spraying your your pumpkins, you can take care of that, and then you don't have to have the the bugs just getting on all the other plants that you have next to it, stuff like that. Like I got tomatoes grown right in between here, in the middle here. These are the blueberry cherry tomatoes, but you know that ain't nothing attacking that. And um, over here you can see got. You got, I have a lot of little cantaloupes growing and I don't want all the plants just getting tore up by these yellow um, beetle lava there that are growing on some of these plants' leaves. So that's what I will, will make sure that I don't do next year is just plant these, these plants just too close to each other because it's just, you know, once once it gets um, invaded by these bugs, then they just go from plant to plant to plant. So I'm going to get out here just, uh, just a little while after I hang out from here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and hit these up with some 10-10-10 down there now that they're really producing and, and um, they're in their second, third phase there of uh, production. So we want to make sure that now that they're producing that uh, we give them a boost of phosphorus and a boost of nitrogen. Keep your plants healthy and keep them, uh, keep them producing. So 
I gotta get out here, like I said, and um, later on this evening, I'll come out here and I'll spray, spray these plants there and try to stay on top of these bugs. It's a war. We have a war on the bugs. The bugs are coming after us, so we need to make sure that uh, we are ready to deal with them because they're coming for us every year and it's getting worse and worse and worse. Then you have this fake ladybug, right? That's that Japanese ladybug that's destructive. See how he's orange and not red? This guy right here will just eat away at your, eat away at your leaves and do damage like this. See how there's damage right there on that leaf like that? That's from that, that's from that lady, uh, ladybug, that Japanese ladybug. There's my bumblebee over there doing his job, going from flower to flower. I have I have a lot of I have plenty of bumblebees. I don't have as many as uh, honeybees, but I have plenty of bumblebees that are out here doing doing their job. And there's other pollinators out here, you know, other little bugs like right here. There's some type of little, some type of little teeny bee here and there doing his job there, pollinating. <laughs> 